morning. This is the epitome of city life without a car. Look at this. I have a backpack. And that's all groceries. Um, I bought some stuff for a hobby gift giving because I'm DIYing this year. Stay tuned. I'll show you a haul later. Hey, welcome to my kitchen. So, like I said, I plan to make cookie gift boxes, and I don't know if you've ever seen them online, but um, you'll see like images of people like making like multiple type of different cookies, like more than like four or five or whatever. That's like way too much for me, so I'm gonna stick with two and very basic ones. Um, I'm gonna make the Linzer cookies, like with the jam that I showed in my last vlog where I made them in a baking class. I'm gonna follow that recipe and I'm gonna make chocolate chip cookies, an all-time favorite, you know, and I'll list the recipes down below um, of what I follow. And so yeah, I'm gonna make two cookies. I feel like that's enough for me. I don't wanna be stressed out. Um, and I hope they turn out really good. And I plan to make them for my coworkers and friends. I plan to add some other things into it, like maybe like candies or something. But for the most part, I want it to be all DIY, made with love from my kitchen in Chicago. So yeah, um, I'll get into all the equipment that I got because like I started out with like bare bones before I got any of this. Like all I had was like a bowl and a whisk to make anything. So, okay. We're gonna have a kitchen scale. This is what I got from Amazon. Um, and both of my recipes, they use grams and we wanna be precise as possible. I don't want to mess up the recipes by doing conversions to like cups and tablespoons or whatever. So I um, got myself this. And this is like handy anyway in general. So I thought this was a good purchase, you know? And I also got... <laughs> um, this is a KitchenAid hand mixer. Oh my gosh, this will save so much time and will make my dough so much better. Um, I didn't obviously want to drop $300 for a stand mixer, even though that would be much more efficient and save so much time, but I'm not like a baker enthusiast. Maybe in some other time if I find myself really into like baking or something like that. but. This one, I think it will do the job and um, so much cheaper too. And then this is what I actually use in my baking class. I found this so helpful. It's an adjustable rolling pin. Got this from Target. Um, sorry, got the hand mixer. This also from Target as well. And got this one from Target, it's a figment brand. And what it does is that it helps um, automate like adjusting how, how thick you want to roll out your dough. So it can adjust it on the sides here, like how um, big you want like the sides to be. So it stops you from rolling any thinner than you want the dough to be. And I found that so smart and amazing when we had that in our baking class. Um, it was a different brand that the baking class used, but it should be the same thing. And <laughs> we saw a spatula. Like, how do I not have a spatula? I don't know. I don't really like had a, had a had use for it. So, got that in silicone from Target. Um, the OXO brand. And let's see. Oh, I got myself baking sheets. Got myself two big ones. Um, they're like different sizes, but whatever. They should be good enough and really easy to like um, bake multiple cookies at a time, like many cookies at a time. And then, oh, both are from Target. And I got parchment paper from Target. And got this parchment paper from Michaels. Um, when I was at Michaels the other day, my other vlog I was shopping for Christmas decor, I saw this and I thought this was like perfect. Not only just to like use it to bake, but also um, as like um, padding in my cookie boxes. And it's like festive, has like, you know, this like uh, Christmas holiday um, decoration. So I thought that was like really perfect for that. Add more spice to my gifts, you know? And then I got these cookie cutouts, cookie cutters. This is for my Linzer cookies. Um, I don't know if you can tell, it's a glare, but this is the base. So this is the bottom, used for the bottom cookie. And these other ones are cut out, so in the middle they get cut, um, they're cut out. And they have different shapes, oh my 
gosh. I don't know if you can see. Damn. But there's like different um, Christmas like themed cutouts. So one's a house. One's a angel and candy cane and a star and a present and an ornament. Um, yeah, and a reindeer. That's cute. I wish they had like a Christmas tree one, but um, oh well. <laughs> and then for the boxes, I have different variations of them. Um, first, I got these paper ones. These are so cute. They are from Michaels and they're like a lot more compact and I plan to give them out to certain people like my team and some friends um, because like I can't make like a million cookies <laughs> so I just got these I think these are so adorable and then for some other people like my boss and um, family or whatever I'm gonna give them decorated boxes so this is a gingerbread man from Target. The, the darker boxes from Target are really cute and really affordable too. I love it there. Um, gingerbread man. And then this one says holiday hooray. <laughs> That's adorable. Um, and I love this one. It's so simplistic but so festive. It's a candy cane design. So yeah, there's other ones as well. I remember seeing the one that says let it snow. And another one's like um, a Christmas tree shaped, something like this, but um, in Christmas tree form. So I'll have to go back because I'm sure I have to get more, a couple more. Um, but that's another day or whatever. I'm only going to make chocolate chip cookie dough tonight. Um, let me show you the final product of my first batch. Okay, here we are. It actually looks pretty good and it smells really good too. So I think it's legit. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put this in plastic wrap and freeze them. Hey guys, happy Monday. Today is December 11th and it's Monday night. And tonight I need to do something that is due tomorrow, which is a gift for a letter to Santa. Um, so I'm gonna do that and I'm thinking about also ending tonight together, me and you, with um, the advent calendar to see what chocolate we get this time for December 11th. Okay, so for the letter to Santa, um, in the um, studio, the Orange Theory studio that I go to, they're hosting the program um, and which is, if you don't know, we give gifts to children in schools. Um, they write a letter to Santa and they kind of, you know, write like a, sh like a sweet and short message and also requesting what they want for Christmas. And so us adults, <laughs> we request, we fulfill those requests and pretend it is from Santa, I guess. I don't know. So the, um, the grade that we're, doing the program for is for second graders at a particular school for a particular class. Um, and I'm not really sure, like, do second graders believe in Santa still? <laughs> I don't know, they're like, what, eight years old? Nah, for sure, when I was eight, I did not believe it. Bro, my mom, she literally, like, she shattered my loyalty with her by revealing that she was Santa when I was five years old. She gave me a book, which I never asked for as a gift, and that was so disappointing. I was like, why did he get, why did Santa give this to me? That is so bullshit. <laughs> I was so, and then she shattered my heart by saying that Santa is not real, and then she gave that to me. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you need you didn't even know what I wanted. Oh, and he it's like it's not even real. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. That was a heartbreaking moment in my life. I still remember that. <laughs> and I remember crying about it. Um, so anyway, but I like, you know, I think it's cute this program and I think it's such a like um a sweet way to give back to the community and just to send out good karma into the universe for everyone um, and to make a, someone's like a little kid's um, holiday a little extra special. So I kind of want to show you the letter that this kid wrote. It's kind of cute. Uh, I'm not going to give too much information about him, but so I'm just going to get, I'm just going to name him Jay. Um, and he said, how, dear Santa, how is the North Pole? Is it really far away and cold? Please stay warm so you won't get sick in time to bring the Christmas gifts. I would like for you to please bring me Pokemon cards or air up or air up cup. I need a set of gloves and a hat or a jacket. 
Thank you, Jay. <laughs> that was like so funny. I was like, bitch, you better not be sick. I gotta get my shit. No, I'm just kidding. But I thought that was, uh, that was I think that's kind of sweet though. It's like thoughtful of him to think of um, Santa's health. So, um, so he had this like little letter and it's handwritten by him. And so I thought it'd be cute. I mean, I'm sure he knows it's not from Santa, but I thought it'd be cute to send a letter back to him. And I made it to be look like it is written from Santa. So um I'm cover the name. But I made it like that. It's not cute. I mean, I just put in like a little bit of effort to make it a little um a little festive. <laughs> oh damn. I think when I record this, everything's like backwards and reverse or whatever but it says letter from santa claus and i written something and on the bottom i have like a like santa and his reindeers and the border is red and i think it's so pretty and you know festive <laughs> um so i said dear jay merry christmas thank you for the very nice letter that you wrote to me the North Pole is very cold and far away, but I am drinking my hot cocoa to stay warm. That was kind of you to look out for my health. Don't you worry, I'll be healthy as a reindeer to bring all the girls and boys their gifts. I hope you enjoy the gifts that my workshop elves have made for you. You deserve it. You're very kind. You are very kind and smart. Continue to try your best at school. That is what matters. I believe in you. You know, give a little positive affirmation. Sincerely, Santa Claus. And so, yeah, I'm going to include that in the gift. And so, um, in the program, they have the children, like, write, the kids, like, write, like, what they wish for Christmas, um, like, what they want for Christmas and what they need. So, yeah. Um, so I kind of fulfilled what he asked for some of the things. Um, first is a set of like Pokemon cards. I got this at Best Buy and I don't know anything about Pokemon cards and there are like so many packs of these. So I told like cashier, like literally just pick whatever random, whatever's popular or whatever. So, um, hopefully these are good ones. I don't know, but I think they're nice. And I got him some gloves um like that and they're like fleecy and warm i hope they fit oh my god i'm so out of touch with how big kids are like their sizes um i was tempted to like ask one of the kids in the store to see if they could fit into this well not really but i was like oh that could be a like that might be a smart idea but that'd be a weird idea too but whatever <laughs> um so yeah i got him gloves and oh i got him the um the hat that he requested and i thought this would be so cute i mean and he's a boy so i was like you know many boys um they love sports and the bears which if you don't know is the football team um in chicago oh, i don't know <laughs> something like that and i mean even at, even though i'm not a sports person at all as you can tell i would totally wear this um, and damn, I hopefully it fits, hopefully it fits him. It's like not too big because I think it's an adult size, but, um, he'll grow into it. Who knows? I have the gift receipts and if so, if like they need to like exchange a return or something like that. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, and I plan to use like the parchment paper, um, from the baking hall. So I use that to like kind of as um, as filler in the box. And then I have this wrapping paper. This is an old one, I only have one. And so I was like, okay, it'll do. It's not the cutest print, it has like a snowman and everything like that, but it's okay. It's something, you know? So while I wrap everything, uh, I decided to have a little chit chat and so I want to kind of talk about what I have been consuming entertainment wise during the holidays. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched my fall vlog and it was called like hello hello fall and uh, oh no was it that vlog? One of the vlogs that was fall themed um, during the fall time I was telling you guys how I would like to watch no I'm so sorry. It was the um, 
fall mood in Chicago vlog. That was the one that I told you guys like what I was watching and what, what I've been listening to during the fall season in general. And so um, for Christmas season, I have been listening to music wise, um, Sabrina Carpenter. She has been like my girly for Christmas music. I have been really loving her. I like, she came out with a song last year called Nonsense christmas or something like that and it's the funniest song ever <laughs> i love her lyrics i love the way she um her she writes her lyrics it's so so sassy and so smart and it's so funny and so yeah i've been loving her and she has a new ep out a new mini album for christmas this year it's called fruitcake and i think it's very cute so definitely check it out I'm, I'm a pop girl i like listening to pop music as uh, my default genre like my go-to genre so if you like pop or if you want like some new christmas music to listen to check it out i love it um what else for christmas i have like a playlist I might like just like post or like a screenshot somewhere here, but I have my own playlist of um, just like more like poppy or kind of like R&B songs or stuff like that. And yeah, let's see. What else I've been listening to? Hmm. I don't know. That's kind of about it though. Um, for TV wise, I haven't really been watching any any like holiday themed like movies or shows or anything like that um they can be really fun though like those like cheesy uh, movies like hallmark movies or netflix netflix ones but i rather actually really enjoy watching reactions of people to those um movies i like watching dylan troll he is so <laughs> funny <laughs> he has watched some of the netflix ones like one with like vanessa hudgens where she like switches places with like um like a queen or princess or whatever and then there's another sequel where like they become triplets or something like that they're like like three lookalikes but vanessa hudgens she plays all three characters it just gets really unhinged really fast <laughs> um, but yeah so i like watching people like react to that and they give commentary and their own like just like opinions on that kind of stuff because i don't think i would like have like the have like the I don't know patience to watch those movies they're not my type of tea really they can be I mean they're like guilty pleasures so they can be like fun once in a while or whatever or like once in the season for me but I'm not really like too much of a fan Spotify has good um has good playlists for the holidays oh speaking of Spotify Spotify unwrapped um if you guys are like have a are into like Spotify or whatever um they give you like your your yearly like top songs that you listen to and your top artist or whatever um pretty sure everyone knows what that is by now but this year for my Spotify unwrapped I was kind of surprised that Miley Cyrus was one of my top artists well I wasn't like well, I'm surprised that I like her music this year. I'm not surprised that she made it on the list because, like, I've been, I know I've been listening to her album and the summer vacation for, um, like, on repeat a lot ever since it came out. But yeah, I'm surprised I, I like her music and I like her as an artist. Her album was really good. I really like it. I would really want to go to a concert of hers if she's touring or whatever. Um, so yeah, and what else? Beyonce's album was also on my Spotify wrapped. I had listened to her album on repeat, especially because um, in preparation for the Renaissance concert that I went earlier in the summer, that was a highlight of my year. One of the highlights of my year. And who else? I remember like SZA being on it, on my Spotify wrapped. Um, and damn. Yeah, that's all I remember right now. I mean, for terms of like top songs, um, I love my like I think the song of the year for me is Calm Down by Remo Remy. Oh shoot. I should know his name, but um I'll maybe like 
put a text here of like what I'm talking about, but you know, it's not calm down. Da, 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 da. It's so good. Oh, I love it. I love like Afro pop, Afro beats. So yeah. Okay. So, um, I have everything in the box right now. I'm going to come back after I wrap up everything. So BRB. Okay. I finished and Here's what the gift looks like, all wrapped up and labeled. And tomorrow I'll give it to my studio. Um, gives me excuse, like gives me reason to actually go and work out. It's getting harder these days, especially since it gets dark so fast outside. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna give it up to my studio for them to give it to the school on time. And um, I really hope Jay likes what he gets and that uh, meets his expectations. Hope he has fun playing with his Pokemon cards and wearing his um, glove and hat and staying warm with them. So, okay, I'm gonna end the night, like I said um, earlier, end the night with my advent calendar. So today is December 11th, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. I already ate like 10 chocolates so far. And so far they had different designs on them. Um, the back of the advent calendar said like they have repeats for most of them except for three. So we'll see. But let's see for day 11. These are out of order. So sometimes it's like really hard to find them quickly. But I found them. It's right here at this corner. Um, I'm going to pop it out. Oh, I love it. And I like how they're just like little like chocolates too. Um, just like adds a little something special to the end of the night. And I'm gonna rip that off. Okay, let's see. Oh, looks like that. Okay, I'm gonna pop it out. Oh. Aww. Oh my God, how perfect. Everything's tying together. It's like a sign from the universe. Look what it is. <laughs> it's supposed to be um, a gift, like a bow on top of a gift box. And I'm already wrapping a gift. And this whole vlog, majority of the theme is gift giving. Wow. I don't know. Something in the air or something like that. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Working Amanda right now. I am working from home and while I do a little typey typey work, um, you know, literally like my 9 to 5 job or whatever, <laughs> I listen to stuff in the background and it just reminded me how I totally forgot to mention that I do consume content other than music during the holidays. So yesterday I was like saying how I listen to like certain like artists or um, music during the holidays but not really any tv shows or movies that are more holiday related but how could i forget to mention that i do consume vlogmas during the holidays which is like holiday related vlogging vlogging content on youtube i um i love it so much it's so fun and just like feels so cozy and festive and it really brings out like the holiday spirit and like it's just like so i don't know i think it's just like so captivating to see what other people are doing during the holidays and they're just, and they're just there and what they're like during like their and what they do during their regular day day lives or whatever i don't know why that's just like so like yummy like i just like eat it all up um so who i follow who i like watch the most or basically who i watch like pretty much all the time is sierra Schultze, carrie dayton and kirsten ashley they are really cool girls um they have different personalities and different lifestyles so it's just like really just, like fun to see like people's like different lives and like what they do and how they go about their day especially during the holidays you know and i really enjoy their content um it's really fun to watch and they're really giving me life right now <laughs> so yeah so check them out sierra she is like a mom she's a young mom i think she's like in her mid-20s um and i'm not a mom though so i don't really relate to 
um, you know, her motherhood experience, but it's like really like interesting to hear about it. And she like does other stuff too. Like she's like really fun and really bubbly and really positive and all, all about like, you know, body positive and um, body confidence and just like that in general. And she like loves Disney and she influenced me to actually go to Disney World for the first time in my life. I never really was that interested um, to act as to like actively travel to Disney World or Disneyland or anything like that. But I'm going for the first time next year in February. Um, I planned it. I'm going with my brother and I still have to do like so much more research on like um, itinerary stuff like how to navigate like the different parks and how to like you know schedule my day because there's like it's like a whole thing so but anyway <laughs> I'm so excited and so yeah she's like a Disney girl she um, loves it and she got me hooked and I just want to see what's it like and it looks so magical so yeah and for Carrie Dayton, she's based, oh, so yeah, she's based in San Diego, and Carrie Dayton, she's based in LA, and she has, like, a more, um, a low-key lifestyle, she lives with her boyfriend, and she, like, does, um, something's, like, you know, like, does similar stuff in terms of, like, body image and stuff like that, and she talks about, like, you know, um, a lot of, like, I don't know, down to, like, really relatable content in terms of, like, mental health sometimes, or, um, I don't know, just like just doing stuff around the city and like living her life. And she does like, oh, she does like, a lot of like thrifting too, if you're into that. She does a lot of like, um, like fashion and outfits type of, um, content. And let's see, uh, Kristen Ashley, she's based in New York. She does have a boyfriend. I'm talking like I know these people. <laughs> um, she does have a boyfriend, but she lives alone in her like bougie um luxury apartment it's really nice she has like so her content is like based more on like working out and health and um uh interior design like she has a really great taste it's really nice and um very luxurious bougie taste in a way and so yeah i like like watching her content for that um so yeah, check those girls out if you guys need to like watch anything during the holidays. I watch them really consistently and I love what they're giving. So yeah, just wanted to pop in to let you guys know about that. Hey guys, happy Monday. Today is December 18th and we are already one week past since the last time I made the chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, and recently I made the Linzer cookie dough. I made two batches of that. So I have everything set up for tonight to bake full force so I'll do like a montage of me baking and maybe we can do a little taste test oh my gosh I am this whole week I have been so anxious um, I've been thinking constantly of how these cookies will turn out so cross my fingers and let's get going um, yeah let's do this I first baked the chocolate chip cookies and they turned out five out of five so easy and one of my co-workers liked it enough to ask me for the recipe so that her husband can bake it for his co-workers. Next up were the Linzer cookies. The results and taste were five out of five. I loved it and they were so pretty and people who ate them really liked them too. But I'm not sure if it was worth the effort just because the dough was so hard to work with. It was almost unmanageable at one point because the dough was breaking apart so much and it was getting really sticky and I just didn't know how to handle it and I was getting really tired. Um, but recently I looked at a video saying that a tip is to roll the dough between two pieces of parchment paper which I think might be a genius idea so I'm gonna try that for next time I'll let you guys know maybe in my next vlog or something like that um, but in the end of the day despite all the hard work I'm glad how these cookies turned out and the cookie boxes are so cute and so pretty and um, I'm glad how everyone like really appreciated that these were homemade Made with love, you know?
Okay, we're at the end. We need everything. And this is my gift table. First things first, these are all the cookie boxes and what they're gonna look like when I give to other people as well. So I thought it was a good like collection of showing you guys what um, my vision was for the gifts. And so these little white boxes, as I said, they are for my teammates. And I decided to give one box to the receptionist um, who works at the lobby of my building. She starts off my day well. I look forward to saying hi to her. Um, and I decided just to give her a little treat just like to send the same positivity back and um, I don't know, make her day a little special hopefully. This is my um, cookie box for my boss and the cookie box that, um, for my friend Romy. This is a tin one, it's a little special for her. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is like what I have all set and I'm gonna do a couple more boxes for other friends. And this gift bag, as you can see, I'm not really sure. It says, okay, it's definitely being filmed backwards, but it's a special delivery from the North Pole, and that's kind of like an, um, a nod, a nudge to like, a nod, sorry, it's kind of like a nod to Secret Santa, um, cause at work we're doing Secret Santa, and so I was like, oh, you know, it's from Santa, <laughs> so I thought that with the bag was super cute saying that. I just got her a lot of sweets, um, and a pair of fuzzy socks from Target, a little candle from Target, and I threw in a Bean Boozled game. I thought that was like fun for like to play during the holidays during family with friends or, or whatever to play with yourself. And here's this last thing I got from my cousin. Um, I'm gonna throw in a clip of the place that I got it from. It's at this craft fair called the Renegade Craft Fair. I like the idea of supporting like small businesses, um, especially things that are really useful and practical. So this time, since my cousin, um, he got a new house, I decided to get something that's like more, kind of like a housewarming gift. So one thing I got is this garlic, um, garlic truffle salt you can see that he is a foodie um, I think that he likes to cook so um, I just got him this I thought it was like super interesting and super unique and I got my cousin these dish towels I thought they looked really nice I love the pattern of these an avocado one and this more kind of like boho and I like this more like neutral one um, and it's by this brand called Render. And what is really unique about this is that they're made from um, recycled water bottles. And that's amazing. It's so sustainable. I love that idea. The lady who ran the, the booth said that these are super absorbent and really easy to maintain and clean and wash and stuff like that. So, I mean, I wish actually, I needed some today. I wish I bought one myself. And I wanna end this vlog with my advent calendar. So I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, this whole thing, all like the, the entire image is like pretty much like almost gone. So I'm going to open, um, I think it's, it was the 18th. Oh, that is so cute. Oh no, can you, <laughs> I'm too far away. But it's a little teddy bear. Aw, cheers to December 18th, everyone. Um, and now that since like we're kind of like much more than halfway through December, kind of want to reflect on how my December has been going because I do like the holidays, it really sparked and rejuvenated my desire to actually take care of myself, which involves um, a lot more movement, you know, like working out, I've been paying a lot of attention to that. Last month, um, yeah, I had, I said in my vlog in the beginning that I was going through something. Um, I had some friends watch it and they showed so much support and kindness and thoughtfulness by reaching out to me um so shout out to you guys i really really appreciate you for even checking in like that was that reached my heart a lot so 
yeah, that filled my cup a lot. So yeah, that was my little reflection of December and a little reminder from me to you to take care of yourself more. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. Bye.